Hello folks, we're back. We are here at home. You see over the hill. Today is September 11th. And we are planting. Don't mind me, I'm throwing out some rocks. Today we are planting here at the house. We're using the coyote. Whoops. NX5510 and our grain drill. She's an oldie but goodie. The two, what the heck is that thing? A 207B John Deere. We did some, mod, I did some modifications to it over the weekend. Uh, yeah, it's kind of goofy looking now. As you can see, we're dragging a chain link fence behind with some bales of hay on it for a little bit of weight to cover the seed. Hey, it works good enough for seed because you don't want the seed more than quarter inch deep. I've only had to pick them up maybe five or six times they fell off, but other than that, they They've been working out pretty well. Um, what I done was, I don't know if you could see it. We'll get a close up view of it here in a little. Let me get this rock out of here before I forget. But what we had done, what I had done, was I took the discs off, because orchard grass doesn't spread out. It's a bunch grass. So wherever the seed is at, that's where the plant grows. It does not spread out like a lawn grass, a, you know, a fescue or anything of that nature. So it only grows straight up and down, it doesn't spread. So for that reason, that is the, why I took off the disc. Because I didn't want a seven and a half inch gap between the rows of hay because that just invites weeds and weeds are not our friend so it's used as don't worry I'm just throwing out another rock um, so we're basically using it as a drop seeder as most of you know these grain drills are just basically a controlled spill so this way it'll fan out across the entire 12 foot section instead of planting it in rows. So I will get on this thing and show you how this thing's working. So like I said, I rigged this up. I had to take, this green drill had the old out gear boxes on it and you had to pull a handle oh, let's jump on so I will show you here as soon as I move all this seed in we're not only using the front boxes but we're using the back ones and we're only going to use the back ones from now on So let's see. I don't know how well you can see it. Seeds are dropping. Coming out of there. Dropping down these tubes. Now we did put that aluminum flashing on there. So the seed will hit it and kind of spread it around. Oh, we lost the bale. <laughs> Uh, this field in the back. I don't know why we're losing it so many times Here's the system I put on I made this bracket Come up here and lift so if the discs were on here would lift it and lower it Used to be a gearbox mounted right here on both sides That that was a royal pain 
So I made all the brackets and everything. Let me grab a bale of hay here. It's almost like we're picking up hay out of the field like the old timers. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, here's the aluminum flashing. I just tried it out. It's just hanging here. As you can see, the seed's hitting it. I don't know how well you can see it. And it's kind of scattering it all across instead of putting it in the windrow. So, that is what we did. Now we'll see how well. See, you can shut it off. Turn it back on just by flipping the handle and not pulling a rope. But sometimes, with those gear boxes, you go to pull the rope and you gotta just let go. You can't just slowly let it back. Oh shit. Oh, for, for the cursing there, I fell off. <laughs> but them old gear boxes, if you didn't snap that handle, then one side would drop, the other side would stay up. And then you'd have to back up and do it over. And oh, what a pain that was. So. I worked on it yesterday and day before, took all the discs off, made the bracket, put the cylinder on, and oh my god, that's so much easier now. So yeah, we got that little patch over there done, the front field is done. Let me wipe you guys off here, you probably got dusty. Oh, there you go. So. Yeah, we'll have this planted in the next five or 10 minutes. Yeah, you can go faster, but it's not like you see it every day here. So we just take our time and get it done. It's supposed to have a chance of rain tomorrow. So even if it's a quarter inch of rain, it'll, it'll be very nice. The ground's definitely got moisture in it, as you can see. So I'm not worried about the moisture. We've had a lot of it. But uh, the only thing I think I would change for, we got another 25 acres to do, um, is maybe, I think it would be a good idea, maybe get your guys' input. And that would be to put a set of old timer spike harrows on the back, like a drag harrow. Uh, the ones that had the little three or four inch spikes on it. And use that as a uh, cover for the seed. Might bury it too far, I'm not sure. I mean, the fencing works good, but I would like a little bit more uh, leveling out of it. So, let's go down here and see what the boss has to say. It's probably gonna be like, I don't see nothing coming out. What do you do, forget to turn it on? Forget to turn it on? Might not have on that first pass, I guess. This one? Yeah. Hey. Check it. Redo it. Hey. This is, the cylinder needs to be out to be on. Right? <laughs> well, we'll just have to run over this 50 or 60 feet to make sure. Well, let's look. Yes. No seed. You want to see the seed? Oh man, I don't know if you can see it. It's so tiny. Like right there's one. It's these white ones you see through here. So, yeah, see it's more spread out everywhere. Let's put you in the shade. That's what we want. So 
so let's get a little look see at the tractor that's the little one oh 55 horse coyote see my shadow there we go kind of poopy but hey it's working and i got a bail about to fall off again oh my yeah i gotta come up with something different for this <laughs> Here he comes, there we go, <laughs> lost the bail again. I'm gonna tell him when to stop. Okay. Get my expensive weight down here and this is a bottom bale of a barn so not a big ordeal but yeah so what's going on today so we'll give you some updates of what it's going to look like it should be sprouted here in seven to ten days uh weather's going to be in the 70s uh the push to get at least this place done was the rain tonight uh, we got a five acre field we just picked up down by our 30 acre farm and uh, we won't get down there tonight because we still got to go down with the perfecta and break it up some and cold a packet and you need some days in between so so yeah nothing too exciting just managing a controlled spill here so Figured I'd just give you guys this update of what we got going on here. Hay season's about to wrap up. We got one field we know we're going to try and get third cut on. Maybe, yeah, maybe some more. Maybe we'll hit about 40 acres. Let's see how well it works out. So, yep, till then, guys, I'm going to throw this bail on and we're going to call it a video. So, till then, we will see you.